Hello and welcome to December 19th. Today we're going to be looking at Linux. One particular flavour of Linux, Ubuntu, the most popular version of Linux which is gaining more and more support by the day. So what we're going to do in this video is install it. I'm going to show you how. So go to the Ubuntu website as shown above in my URL and you can meet Ubuntu. It's prettier than Mac, faster than Windows. And we're going to go with Ubuntu Desktop and we're going to get Ubuntu 12.10 and I'm going to download the 64-bit version as I run a 64-bit PC just like that and you can show Ubuntu some love by donating which might be worth it but I'm going to skip that for now and come back when I've had a bit more experience with Ubuntu and then it will download the ISO image file which you can burn to a disk now the next thing you need to do is reboot your computer and boot up to the drive you put the Ubuntu disk in and you end up with this nice purple line after the Ubuntu logo and after a little bit more time you end up with this screen now my mouse wasn't working it doesn't like my wireless mouse so for now I'll leave it and just go with the keyboard so I tab over to install Ubuntu you have the option to try it which loads it up as a live CD and you just look around inside Ubuntu and I'm going to select to download and updates while installing and install some third party software such as MP3 technology which I think is a nice feature to have during the install phase so I don't have to mess about finding it later now the installation type you can choose to erase the whole disk and install Ubuntu which I'm going to choose you can choose to encrypt the whole thing and you can use LVM I'm not sure what that stands for right now but it's some volume management in case you want to resize the partition later on so where are you? These are questions during the installation which is genius so I'm in London my keyboard is English UK but they get it sorted whilst you're installing not after you've installed so you can get using it as fast as possible so you enter your name your computer's name you're not allowed to use spaces or underscores you must use a hyphen like so pick a username you can't have a capital letter as your first letter and you want to select a password and as usual I chose eight circles you can log in automatically and require a password to log in so I'm just going to change my username back using a lowercase letter and we can continue and after a long long while you get this screen where it says choose a picture so it took me completely by surprise as you can see and I selected got my keyboard and decided just to take a photo just because and tab over to continue and we're done you end up with these screens now just finishing off the installation which give you lots of little facts about Ubuntu and if you want to read them you can install Ubuntu yourself installation is complete you will now restart and you end up with this little terminal thing which is very pretty it's certainly more interesting than the windows shutdown now when you boot back up I don't know if anyone else gets this but I get a horrible screen which makes everything look like it's gone completely wrong it hasn't it just looks that way so carrying on with that I'm now going to switch to my HD PVR to give you a proper view of Ubuntu so Tom Nichols and I enter my password of 8 circles and change the resolution up and we have the Ubuntu home screen so instead of your start menu being along the bottom like Windows we have an application bar across the left and a file edit view history is at the top so we're going to go to Google and I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to install the program so I'm going to pick my favorite web browser Google Chrome Google is very clever and they've made a 64-bit version for Ubuntu and Debian and a separate version for Fedora Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distribution at the moment. It was Fedora, but everything seems to be going Ubuntu's way right now. So we'll download that, and then you double click on it and close it down, and it will open up the Ubuntu Software Center. Now, this handles all your installs, keeping it nice and simple for you. Only open this file if you trust its origin, so I trust it, it's from Google enter my login password of eight circles and it will authenticate me and allow me to install the program 
So, skipping forward to the end of the installation, the bar moves to the right, and it's all done. You then type Chrome in the Ubuntu Home thing, and it's there. We've installed the browser. It's very easy to install, and it wins. So, we're going to visit our favourite YouTube channel. Mine. Ten Winger 5, find it, and there we are. Everything's working. Brilliant. So there's a very quick introduction to Linux. Uh, if you want to use it, I recommend Ubuntu. That is, as I said, the most popular version of Linux right now. Uh, I'm just having a play with the taskbar thing. But it's certainly worth getting into. There's a possibility that Windows won't be around forever, and Linux looks like it's the way it's going to be. So again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a link for Linux in the video description.